Next, we will learn how to install WordPress manually on your hosting. First of all, we will visit wordpress.org and click on get WordPress button. Here we have two options, download WordPress 5.4 or download tar.gz. We will click on the download WordPress 5.4. This is the version and uh, ideally it does not make a difference uh, most of the time it is the latest stable version which they update in here. As you can see I have already installed and downloaded this. Once I have downloaded this next I will have to upload it on my server. I will just go back to the cPanel and I will click on the file manager option. In case you cannot directly see the file manager option, you can search for file manager and you will be able to find it. I'll click on the file manager option where I can see all these dot directories which are there. 99% of the time you have to install it in public underscore HTML. This is your main directory, the main files directory, public underscore HTML. However, since it is a shared hosting and the website cafinal.org is one of the add-on domains, I will install it in the directory of cafinal.org, which is in the main, then I've got my cafinal.org and then demo. As you can see, I've already uploaded the WordPress zip file here. In your case, you can just click on the upload button here and you will see this where you can just drag and drop or select the file WordPress uh, zip file in here. Once you have uploaded it, you can just hit the reload button and the file will be visible if it is not directly visible after upload. Next, I will just click on the, this uh, file and I will right click and extract it by clicking it here. Now I can extract it in any of the directory. If it is your main domain, you will not uh, have the demo this thing. However, since I just want it in the demo directory, I am clicking I will be extracting these files in the demo directory. I just click on extract files and here we can see all the files, WordPress files have been extracted. Again I will hit the reload button and I can see the WordPress directory in here. Since I want the domain to be cafinal.org slash demo and not slash demo slash WordPress, I will select all the files and I will move them in the previous directory. So I will just select all and I will just click on move so that I can just move these files. Again, you can always get help from your hosting provider if you are having any of the issues or doubts when you are doing the manual install. However, for most of you, I would suggest you can automatically install WordPress or also you can take help from your hosting provider. WordPress 5.4.zip, I will delete this file as I do not need it anymore. Also, I will delete the WordPress directory which is empty as we have moved all the files in here. Now, as we can visit, as we will visit cafinal.org slash demo, we can see a certain message which is there. So I will just open that file. Demo. And I will be able to see this option which is there okay where i can set up the configuration where it is asking me to select the language and i can go ahead if you remember we also selected the language when we did automatic installs 
I just click on continue and here I have the database name, username, password, database host, table prefix which is required to run the installation. <coughs> I will now show you how to add a database name, username and password. Database host and table prefix are the same most of the time. For this, I will have to go to the cPanel again and I will have to search for MySQL database wizard. So I will be clicking on the MySQL database wizard in this case. I will have to create a database. I will just give it the name demo. You can give any name as per the website you are creating. There are character limits which you need to keep a note of. I'll click on the next step. I'll have to create the user and I have to add a password. I've kept a secret password in this case, which I will be showing you there. I have to repeat the password again and then click on the create user. Here I will select all privileges. I will select all privileges. Okay, that is this user has all the privileges to create, alter the database, create the database, etc. And I will just click on the next step. And here I have completed the database creation task. I will keep a note of the, the database name, DB name, I will refer it to here, and the username, and also the password in this case. As these are important details, Please keep a note of them because we will require to use them in this step here. Now that I've got my database name, database username, database password, I'll just click on let's go. Database name, I'll just copy paste it from here. You can keep a separate database name and username. However, for the sake of simplicity, I have kept it same. I will just copy paste the password again here and I will not touch any of these details table prefix and database host I'll keep the same and I'll just submit it since all the details submitted are correct WordPress will ask me to run the installation I can run the installation they've got amazing messages like all right Sparky you have made it through this part of installation so now I'll just click on this thing and now I have an option of adding the site website which I can do it my, as my first website I love blogging the same thing these details can be changed later on so you don't have to worry about them user I'll keep my name password I will keep the same uh, I'll just note this password for future references okay WP password and username is Utpal. Email ID, double check your email address. WordPress also is asking you to check your email address. As I mentioned earlier in automatic installation, you have to be very sure about the email ID that you are entering because any loss of password would the authentication comes on this email ID or any notification as well. Search engine visibility. Discourage search engines from indexing this site. Yes, I will check this option as of now. However, if it's your main website, you can leave it unchecked. I am checking this because I don't want Google to crawl this website and get confused as a part of cafinal.org. Next is, I'll just click on install WordPress. And I'll get a message successfully done. I can just click on login and I can log in with my username. 
and the password which we have automatically set and we are there with a demo account and here I've got my admin panel similarly when I just go to the CA final demo link okay I'm getting this WordPress config error that is mainly because of the cache memory so I can just go to this the main uh, domain and I can see and I've got my first website title the sample page the same that we got during the automatic installation okay. so this is it uh, this is how we can manually install wordpress on our cpanel hosting